For this video we're going to take a, a quick look at linking data from Azure Blob Storage and it's data I've gathered via IoT Hub and Stream Analytics but we've covered that on a different video. For this video we're going to concentrate on just linking the data to Power BI Desktop. So here's my data, this is my storage account and this is the data in my container so I'm sending data every 15 minutes. I go back to my containers, I can see my container here and the first bit of information I need is a URL for this container so you can see it here, if I click on these three dots container properties, I can see the URL at the top, I'll copy that now I'm ready to open Power BI this is the landing page for Power BI, you can see there on the left hand side that's my previous projects, but we need to get new data we haven't got recent sources because we've never connected this data, so we can do get data, Azure, blob storage, you can see it here, and then connect. And we need to cut and paste the URL. Now we need to find this account key. This is the account key for my storage lo location, not my container. So let's go back to Azure. We were here previously, so if we go to storage accounts, see here my storage account DY13. Now I need to find the key for this. If I come down here you can see access keys and then when you click on show you can copy that access key and now we go back to Power BI. Paste the account key here. Once you've entered the account key it will pick up your JSON there's a lot of data normally you know, stored under that in JSON format. We only have one line at the moment, but as we get going, this will fill up. But we need to get up that data and our key metrics. So to do that, click on Transform Data. And that will open up the Query Builder in Power BI Desktop. And you can see here all of the information for our JSON file. If we click on these two little arrows, it will start evaluating the query and it should automatically bring in our JSON information. So there you have it. There's all of our uh, process values. Of course, I've only got one row because I've only just set this up. Uh, but the first thing we need to do to, before we can start refreshing really is close and apply. And if we go to our table view or data view now, I've got my process values here. It's every 15 minutes and I've recorded this too quick for the next set of data to land but um, you'll have to take my word for it every time we get new data I can click on the refresh here and it will refresh that data on my Power BI desktop. When we get it to the cloud we can automate that a little bit more. But there you have it, a nice short video showing you how to connect Power BI desktop to Azure Blob Storage with uh, JSON data. I hope you found that useful. Please share this channel with your friends and colleagues, but for now, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon.